Listen to me. The Mafia is a business which employs violence as its currency. It's allowed to desire and kill as it chooses. Retaliation must be weighed in terms of expenditure and liability. Welcome to the Port Mafia. Sprain fracture of the lower jaw, avulsion of the frontal bone and thoracic vertebrae, damage to the jugular ligament, rupture of the brachial and femoral muscles, and first-degree burns over the entire body. To top it off, he's in a coma. That's the price he paid for failing his mission. He may never regain consciousness again. His level of violence is high even by our standards. But what about yourself? Things aren't looking good for us. Our weapon smugglers are two weeks behind schedule. If this keeps up, our men will literally be bringing knives to a gunfight. And while the violence continues to rise, contracts for our protection business continue to dwindle. <sighs> hmm. Have you ever felt that you were truly suited for this job? Don't feel too bad. Effort is what's important. Results come second, don't you agree? You know, if I was going to shut you up, I could have done so a long time ago. You were the sole witness when I inherited the boss's position. So, as a result, you're the only other one who can verify his will. I can't afford to have you senselessly die. How are you feeling today, boss? Doctor, tell the board this is an order. Kill all enemy organizations, military police, anyone else who opposes the Port Mafia by sundown. That would be most unwise. I don't care how many of our own need to die. Just kill them. Just kill them all. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. I hear you loud and clear. The boss has succumbed to illness. He left behind a will entrusting me with his position. You're the witness to that fact. Understood? I wanted to thank you for your advice earlier. You said you were a doctor, right? Ex-doctor. I'm just a simple old man in charge of a small group now. Remember, an optimal solution exists in any situation, regardless of the difficulty. You must not forget that. Especially in times of confusion. <laughs> so this is a guild assassin. Apparently the agency isn't the only one in a skirmish with the guild. It seems I should take my own advice. We need an optimal solution. The agency and the guild. Those who dare to oppose us and incur our wrath. I had a good time today, though I must admit I really wanted to use my ability to decimate my enemies like I used to. Ah, does I? You've arrived. Having only known each other for a day, you two seem to have really hit it off. Mori, can we get to business already? Moving on. Would you be interested in affiliating with the Port Mafia? Our previous boss's rampage. It was he and his tyrannical rule that led this city into a state of chaos and still haunts people to this day. But he is no longer with the living. I witnessed his passing myself. That's why, if rumors exist that his rule of violence and terror has returned, we must discover their origins for the protection of our people. I murdered the previous boss. I used this trusty scalpel of mine. Then I blamed it on his disease, said it had killed him in the end. Do you have a problem with that? Would you participate in a joint investigation? The rumors we've heard about the previous boss's return and this Arahabaki that you're after are clearly related. I think we could achieve a mutually beneficial relationship simply by sharing information. Your group controls prime real estate in Yokohama and even owns artillery. 
But for a group so bent on vengeance, excluding yourself, all of you are no more than children. As a fellow leader, I sympathize with your difficult circumstances. See that? Such bloodlust from this one. But to us, violence is merely one tool at our disposal. The Mafia's true nature is to control our surroundings using a plethora of means. I want you to go and investigate. Take this contract with you. It's called the Silver Oracle. Show this to any member of the Port Mafia, and they will do whatever you ask of them. Not so fast, but only executives have clearance to look at those. You're not as foolish as that. Besides, I wouldn't be able to answer the question that's most pressing in your mind if you did. Now then, to begin, nothing you hear leaves this room. Understand? Well... <laughs> Never mind. I called you here for a singular reason. I'd like you to find someone for me. I've heard good things about you. I personally wanted to ask you to carry out this job. Our sources say he was reported to be missing as of last night. It seems he never even made it home. Whether he vanished of his own free will, or he was taken away by brute force, we still cannot say for certain. His position gave him access to sensitive information. Such knowledge could be used to decimate us if sold to rival organizations. However, taking that element out of the equation, if something has happened to him, I wish to help. Take this with you. It's a silver oracle. If you show this to anyone in the organization, including executives, you will receive assistance. I want you to do something for me. It's nothing serious. You won't be in any kind of danger. No big deal. Danger's fine with me. Really? <laughs> Very well. I hope that you will soon bring me good news. You were the one who caught the rat. Do with him as you will. In any case, now we have him in our custody. And he knows how viciously the Port Mafia retaliates. An aptitude for money is a strength. Let's wait and see exactly what he's capable of. I hear you put my men through their paces. Are you all right? It seems friendship surpasses hierarchy. Come on, just wear the dress, please. Just for a bit. A teensy weensy little bit. Come on, my dear. Just try it on, all right? I thought into picking this out. I mean, just look at these crimson frills. Don't they look like flower petals? I'm sure you'll look great. 